All right, guys. This is Tony and Lamont back here over with Big Dogs Port. And we're back here with the Edelbrock 351 small block 4 RPM air gap. Um, it's received our stage 2 porting. It's a dual plane. This is part number. And we're getting ready to do the after porting flow testing. So, got the mod here at the controls. Go ahead and rock and roll. With 330. 34 CFM. We're testing this model right here. So we're at 333, 334. This runner in stock form um, flowed, what was it, 257, 257, 257 CFM. Now, and this one flowed 268. Right, right. So this one, after our stage two porting, flowed 334. That's basically a 77 CFM gain. Okay, we did not notch this divider. Um, we're gonna recommend this customer run a 750 CFM car. And one of the reasons why we didn't notch this divider out is because doing this on a dual plane, it usually, um, especially when you do like a half an inch, three quarters of an inch down, um, it connects all four uh, uh, metering holes, venturi, whatever you want to call them, it connects them together. And that usually helps out on the upper RPM uh, range. This is an air gap. So this is a tall runner dual plane. So these don't have problems on the upper RPM as far as you know, um, that's concerned. As you saw with the before video, the weak points of these manifolds is basically the runner CFM flow. Okay. Um, they're a tall dual plane, pretty much a straight shot, especially these middle runners. And you can kind of see with the outside runners too, it's like a straight shot. So that helps promote high RPM horsepower. The only thing you really have to do with this manifold is get the flow of the runners up to par without increasing the cross section area too much. Okay, you want the cross section area to match the displacement and the RPM range of the motor. So what we did with this is we didn't alter the divider and that's going to promote excellent throttle body response excellent low to mid-range torque but the runner's flow is going to enhance the already pretty good upper rpm horsepower plus by not altering this divider it allows the customer tunability because he can run an open spacer which will basically give more plenum volume and also simulate this divider being, you know, taken out without actually taking this divider out. So he can pretty much experiment. He can run it the way it is, see how it runs at the track. Then he can add a one inch open or three quarter inch open, even a half inch open spacer. See how that runs at the track. And whichever ones he like, he can go with that. If we take this divider out, then he's pretty much stuck with this divider being notched down. So we'll keep this divider in. As you see, this runner picked up 77 CFM. So 334 um, is pretty much flowing more than an out-the-box single plane. Um, so now you have the best of both worlds. You have 
the dual plane for the low mid-range torque you have the taller runners straight shot runners to promote upper rpm horsepower and you also have the cross section area and cfm flow of the runners to further enhance and support upper rpm horsepower so this manifold with the right cylinder heads right camshaft right tuning uh, right exhaust system this manifold can easily probably pull 7,000 rpm even despite being a dual plane you know this manifold can pull 7,000 rpm with this kind of airflow yes so there you have it um i did the rough port and lamont did the sand roll so um it's pretty good good combination once again we're going to see you guys at the track that's right you guys got to get ready too we're going to clean all this up too we're going to surface all of this I want to get this video out you guys got to get ready too because we got some good videos coming up lamont don't want me to say anything but it's hard for me to hold back we got some good videos coming up um we're trying to get the likes up trying to get the 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 algorithm algorithm up we're trying to get the viewer um input up you know you guys don't be shy you know say some comments say some things that you want to you know ask us um we may do a video on it you know combinations that you want flow tested things that you want you know um tested out just message us on the facebook page instagram page google page or just leave a comment on you know the youtube page ask us about this um, we got a lot of projects here in the shop a lot of projects so hopefully we can start getting these projects out you know we're still kind of swamped but we're catching up with uh, a lot of long-term and complicated you know porting jobs which pretty much that had us bogged down you know, um, a lot of the iron head, you know, a lot of the stage threes, you know, it, it, that just had us bogged down. But we're catching up on that, on those. And um, a job like this, this was, you know, uh, a quick job and great results. Um, but not every order is going to be this quick. It's going to have a fast turnaround time. You have a stage three truck um and i'm gonna be honest i hate those stage three trucks man. <laughs> you guys complain about the stage threes and your orders you don't realize how much freaking work is involved in those stage three trucks um uh efi truck manifolds that's why we're not doing them anymore uh until we're fully caught up um that was my car everybody else you know at the uh, shop and then with the company they wanted to keep doing them. I said no because customers are complaining about their turnaround times. And those stage three truck manifolds and stage three tubulars are extremely difficult to do. They take a lot of time. I mean, a stage three tubular, you're talking about what? Anywhere from 40 to 60 hours straight if you're working on them straight. Which, of course, you can't work on them straight because you have other jobs to do. Um, the truck manifolds, stage threes, a little bit less, but they're still difficult to, to do because you guys are expecting great flow numbers. So we will not rush and whip through and just give you guys anything. We're not going to do that. So it's going to take time. You know, and for a lot of individuals who don't want to wait, we just give your parts back. You know, you give your parts back. Elder Brock is pretty much not making those 351 truck manifolds anymore. And if you do get them, they don't flow what our stage two truck manifolds flow, let alone the stage three. And nobody in the industry is cutting open and modifying and stage three in the tubular. So you want the good stuff, you're going to have to wait. But enough of that babble. See you guys at the track.